The telco insider whose mobile phone tower protest went out of control is back. Now, he drove a tank down city streets, destroying transmitters to highlight what he saw as dangerous tower emissions. Now, of course, he was sent to jail for that. But the former technician hasn't changed his mind about the health effects of mobile phone towers. And he's preparing another protest. But as Laura Sparks reports, this one won't involve a tank. The message was that how dangerous it was. I wasn't thinking clearly. I made some rash decisions, which I really regret. But it was out of sheer frustration, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. His desperation drove him to extreme measures. John Patterson did the unthinkable. Ah, please. He went on a destructive spree in a tank, and now he's paid dearly for his actions. I was proved guilty, and uh, um, I was jailed for my offences. How dangerous is this office? Uh, it's catastrophic. It's, you wouldn't work here. We first met John, a former senior telecommunications technical officer with Telstra, more than two years ago. Back then, he was waiting to be sentenced, facing a jail term for his tank attack. I was involved in rolling the technology out. I was very responsible for any safety things that actually happened. So I felt obligated to actually do something about it. John borrowed his mate's armoured personnel carrier, one of only two in the country, and rammed eight equipment shelters, housing transmitters for mobile phone towers. It disrupts the bioelectric system of your body, which is really your brain, your nervous system, how your muscles talk. For 20 years, John tested Telstra digital systems. Over the time, he realised the dangers of electromagnetic radiation. When he moved to this Telstra depot in between two mobile phone towers, he got violently sick. It microwaved us. So I got all the test gear out and measured it and drew up a report and showed that it was, a, it was an occupational hazard to work in that building with that amount of radiation. And... Uh, I was immediately removed from service. After taking a voluntary redundancy, John went on to warn every responsible authority. Everyone said I was technically correct, but no one had the power to stand up on my side. People within the industry, uh, they've just misinformed uh, all of the relevant authorities. So if the industry knows mobile phones are so dangerous, don't they have a legal duty of care? to tell us? Anyone that realises that it's bad is removed from the industry. In sheer desperation, John inflicted $6 million worth of damage on the transmitter shelters. He eventually pleaded guilty to malicious damage and served 20 months in jail. It was terrible, a terrible experience. Uh, I never want to go back to jail. I'll never break the law. There's about 18,000 mobile phone towers dotted across Australia. And John's not the only one worried. Electrical engineer John Lincoln. People start losing their regular sleep and they get lethargic. Australia's top neurosurgeon, Charlie Teo. We're seeing the increase in frequency of tumours in the insular region, which is this region right here, the temporal lobe, the frontal lobe. So it's right there where you hold your phone. Not safe, not and it's not just radiation from mobile phones and towers. Here in Melbourne, residents are worried about a large-scale expansion of this electrical terminal station. EMF is uh, known to have an association with the, the incidence of childhood leukaemia in a population. So that's electromagnetic fields from high-voltage equipment. The Australian Communications and Media Authority says there is no substantiated evidence on adverse health effects from mobile phone towers or mobile phones. But John says it's the accumulation. We're in Sydney Basin, there's probably 10 million phones in Sydney Basin. Then there's all the Wi-Fi is used. There's all of the communications, radio, TV, everything. John's now setting up a business. He's got half a million dollars worth of equipment, including this $80,000 spectrum analyzer, one of only a few in the country. So how much radiation is in here because of that tower? It's equivalent to thousands of mobile phones being inside the office here. All ringing at once? Yes. So if I was to work in here for two years with that mobile phone tower there and that radiation in here, how would it affect me? Back worst case scenario, bowel cancer, uh, liver cancer, lung, heart, 
brain problems. His aim to alert people on how to identify immediate effects of radiation, for example, sleeplessness, and then to teach those concerned about how to safeguard their homes and offices. What you shouldn't have plugged in during night time when you're sleeping, just general occupational health and safety. If you're not getting your sleep, I can show you how to get good night's sleep. And a Senate committee inquiry has been taking submissions into where mobile phone towers can be located. We'll be hearing more about their findings in May.